Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lania, and as you can tell by today's video, we're going to be talking about BeautyCon 2019, New York City that just happened this past weekend. Um, some background for me and my perspective, I've been attending BeautyCon New York City for the last four or five years basically since its inception and the first time I ever went I went as general admission and pricing was like less than $50 I think for both days. I didn't ever want to do that again because lines are long and it's a little bit harder to get to all the booths in the allotted two day time. So ever since then I have always been an advocate for the hauler pass. I think it's the best deal for your money. As a hauler pass ticket goer you are guaranteed a hauler bag which is uh, usually filled with products that is typically worth $200 which is essentially the price of your ticket. There are ticket packages that are higher priced than that but like I said they all get the same bag as the hauler so I think the hauler is just the best value. So this year I got the hauler pass like usual and after tax it came to about $215, $219 um, and that's a lot of money okay but as an avid beauty lover and person who loves makeup um, and who have had great experiences with the bag in previous years you could see I'll link the video somewhere up here and also in the description box down below. Um, it's never crossed my mind to not get the hauler pass. I always vouch that it's worth it. Things change from year to year. You have to understand that planning an event, there's a learning curve and each year feedback is provided and it's put into the next year. So last year, um, we were waiting outside and the lines were clearly designated for if you're general admission, if you're a hauler, if you're VIP, whatever the case may be. This year we were inside and it was also clearly um, labeled where you were supposed to be if you, depending on your ticket, um, but there were a little bit of complications. Once people were able to finally get in, Hollow Pass is the earliest that you can get in starting at 10 and general admission starts at 12. A two hour time gap which really makes a huge difference when you're in the venue. But anyway, when we went in, um, just based on the location where the Hollow Pass was, if you were to come late and you haven't been standing online since like 8.30, like a lot of people, and you were to just come down the escalators, you would run into the people who were waiting online going into the venue. And there was really no one to stop them from just going into the venue along with those people who had waited online. So uh, that was a little bit frustrating to some of the people. And they, BeautyCon, made it known that they they recognized that that had happened on day one, Saturday, and they vowed to make it better on day two. I personally didn't take notice, like I didn't see it, I only heard people talking about it. And um, by the time I went in on day two on Sunday, I still saw people coming down the escalator. So they didn't block it off, which was weird. I don't know what they did. But either way, I got in at 10 and um, what I did notice this year, we were given a pamphlet with all the booths names and like a directory. Um, there weren't many makeup brands that were well known. Um, usually that is my MO, my game to I look at the planner and I decide who I want to go to first and it's usually the bigger names that I go to first so I could get them out of the way and then I'll on Sunday I usually leave that to explore booths that I don't know and learn about brands that way um, but there weren't many big known names so I went through it really really quickly and the experience this year was just in terms of like activation at the booths were just not it just wasn't really there like it was last year. Last year I actually vlogged so you can kind of see um, how it went down and this year I wasn't compelled to. Um, a lot of the booths had like swing sets. That was like a big thing. Um, a lot of them had swing sets <laughs> or flower wall. Uh, and I love a good flower wall. Don't, don't think I don't. But this year it was definitely like a different vibe a lot of the booths also weren't giving out free products and this it sounds at least for me i hate 
like having to stand in a long line and realize they're only selling products but I hate having to ask them like are you giving away free stuff just because it sounds bad but as a consumer and someone who paid a lot of money to get in there it's not like the convention is free you know so it'd be nice if it was noted if a brand was giving out giveaways or if they were just selling because it would just make things easier for a lot of people. So that was kind of an issue. Uh, this year, the panels, I think, were phenomenal. Um, I always prioritize visiting booths first, but this year was the first year that I really stopped and questioned, like, do I want to go sit for this panel or head to the booths. The seating is limited for the panels at the main stage so you always have to go before the event that you want to see to ensure that you're getting a seat and you're not standing up for the entire time. So let's get into this bag that I rave about and I tell all my friends if you're coming to BeautyCon do the hauler um, and let's see if it was really worth the $200 that they claim that it was. So here is the bag. It's so big this year that it could barely fit in screen. Last year the bag was smaller and it was filled to the very top. Like it was very hard to close if you opened your bag to look to see what was inside. Um, so people requested that the bags be bigger so we can not only like not break the bag, but once we're going around to booths, buying things and getting free samples, we were able to put them in there. So they listened to that and we got the bigger bag. But... <laughs> Did we get the products that we expected? Um, I'm gonna let you guys decide. We got two bags. We got this bag. And then on the side, they gave us this plastic bag. Why, I'm not sure, but this is the second bag we got. So what came in this bag was the following. I have a body wash mousse by Dove. I got this Love Beauty and Planet uh, hairspray. Sustainable living, um, better for the environment, all good. And then I got this Home and Planet multi-purpose cleaner spray. Not necessarily beauty related, but again, not mad at it. I want sustainable healthy living I want to not have chemicals in my home so this is something that I'm learning from Beautycon um, I never heard of this brand prior to that so that's that and then we got some clean and clear oil absorbing sheets that's fine we have a mini Coco Cabana cream this is small I was expecting full size, but okay, I love this. I, I do love this. And on the bright side, it's travel size friendly. I'm trying to I'm trying to be positive here, but you'll start to see a little bit later why some people on the internet are not happy. Um, and then Shea Moisture Silicone Leave-In Treatment, full size. I've been to BeautyCon, like I said, for the last couple of years, and this is always given out. Um, I have so many of these. <laughs> so Shea Moisture just probably doesn't have anything new coming out, so this is why they give this, but that was their choice and that's fine by that. So that's what came in this bag. Now what came in the bigger bag is as follows. I was really excited about this. We got full-size conditioner and shampoo from the main choice. Um, this works for my hair. I'm really happy about it. I've never tried products from the main choice before and this is my time to do so. So I was ecstatic about that. We have a full size texture by Cantu for curls and waves defining gel. This is fine, full size. I'm, I'm happy with that. I could use it. The larger demographic of Beautycon doesn't look like me so I don't know how they feel about those products and if they can use it but whatever. Um, we got a medium size uh, makeup remover. So that's makeup related, that's fine. Here's a sample, here's another sample, here's another sample. This is some keratin shampoo formulated in Italy and it's $1.50. It's right here on the package, I don't know why, but here are some hair samples. Having shorter hair now, samples work for me, but for everybody else, not really too sure. We have this Aveda shampoo and conditioner, sample size, lots of shampoos and conditioners. There's so many 
products here for shampoo and conditioner that I doubt the person who's using it is going to go through it like that to try all of them. So that's a little dismaying. Um, and then Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Shampoo right here. I didn't get a conditioner to go with it. It's just the shampoo. But I could use one of the other many conditioners that I got. So that's that. Um, this was odd. We got some Queen V vitamins to help promote a healthy urinary tract system. I can't pronounce the brand, but it's essentially eye drops and not makeup related. I'm not really sure of the theme, but this brand was there and gave us eye drops. So thank you for that. Um, I have some a peel off glow mask and clay facial mask samples. So there's that. I got three little lotions. This one is from Palmer's Travel Size. These two are from Sol de Janeiro again. So I wound up with three of these bad boys. Does that equal a whole? I don't really know, but that's what we got here. Um, travel size lotion. And from what I heard from the internet, uh, if you stood on this brand's line, they actually wound up giving you a full size, which makes it a little bit weird that you could stand in line at the brand and get a full size, but people who pay to have a bag only get a travel size. So there's that. Um, Pons, this is a cleansing balm, their cold cream, and it, it looks different, it's like different packaging, I don't know if it's newly formulated. I do have the Pons cold cream from last year when I attended, um, but this is cute and it's full size. I didn't see them at the event, so maybe they just sent it through, or I missed them, I'm not sure. And then we got something from L'Oreal, it's a clay mask, full size. Um, Lots of masks, but this is this is nice. It's makeup related, which is great. Some more masks. These are mask sheets. We got that. Um, so this brand is raw. It's called Raw Sugar, and they gave us a raw coconut and mango like lip balm thing. Um, their brand was really cool when I went, and I never heard of them before, so that's cool. Um, it's also a full size, which is great. Then Lime Crime um, gave us a full-size lip topper. This is really pretty. It's called Diamond Crushers. Um, and this brand is notorious for not giving out products in their line. And I don't believe they did it this year. I actually didn't go because I, I knew that uh, from past experiences. But they did put this in the bag, which is great. Um, and makeup related. A lot of us expect makeup products. Um, this is from the Balm and it is a like lip stain. Um, I have this from a previous event, I think it was Generation Beauty where they gave this out. So this is like backup for me. Pixie always comes through with like a, a eye pencil. Um, this is in Matt Mulberry. This year the lip bar was present and they also gifted us something in the bag which I'm happy about and that I get to try them finally. Um, I got a gold one and I was talking to somebody else on the line and they got like a blue shade. So though brands may give everyone um, a certain item, the colors may vary uh, depending on the brand. I got some cuticle cream samples from London Town, some beautiful lashes from Kiss. I always look forward to their lashes at these events. Um, Pop Beauty always has these pencils. This is in the color Inky Purple. They always give this out in every bag that I've ever received. This has always been in there, but I'm happy that they're still here. Uh, Coats gave us a face prime and protect sample. And then I got a lip art graphic from, who is this from? Rimmel London. And that's what came in this bag. Some things I'm really happy about. Um, some things are a little bit questionable, but in comparison to last year's products, it was a lot more makeup oriented and a lot more full size products. So I could understand the dismay of um, people and why they're kind of like really pissed. 
Um, some people that I was speaking to online, they were talking about how this was their first beauty con and um, this bag just didn't seem worth it and how some previous viewers said that this was uh, the worst bag. I can 100% attest that this is not the worst bag BeautyCon has ever had, which is why I'm not completely up in arms about it because I have had worse. And I have the video as well that I will link up above somewhere and down below in the description box that bag was horrible and I can say that but this bag isn't it's just not the worst um so I'm a little bit more lenient in that manner um so that's what I received in the bag and this was guaranteed in order to pick this bag up they did have a separate line outside of the main hall and I didn't really tell anybody about it. So I saw people coming back into the main line, waiting to go into the festival, into the main line with the hollow bag. And I was like, where did you get that? And they said around the corner. So me and some girls that I made friends with in line, we went outside of the line, the hollow line to go into the festival. And we went into a separate line that we had to wait for on Saturday um, to get these bags. Now, I don't know if you went to BeautyCon, let me know how your bag is because from what I hear, brands, they send through a certain amount of units and in my experience, if you know X amount of people are going to be at this event and have X amount of bags, you need to send through X amount of units to match that bag. But I'm not sure if people who either picked up their bags on Sunday, who picked up their bags like Saturday evening once the festival was over because they didn't want to carry it. I don't know if they got less product. I don't know. I don't really know the issue, but I know that on Saturday, right before we went in, like right before 10 o'clock, maybe like 9.45, I got in the line and I got my bag. So I feel like I was pretty early on in receiving this bag. Um, they did have coat check there. So like if you picked up your bag and you didn't want to carry it through the festival, you could coat check it. It was $4 per item that you wanted to check so keep that in mind it is a business and they're trying to make money so i did not check my bag i carry this with me the whole day on saturday which is why my back is in pain now because the cleaning supplies in here are quite heavy um but that, that was the bag and that's how i got it and just let me know down below how you feel about it is it worth it is it worth 200 dollars um what you think so next so these bags and this box I got while being at BeautyCon. So while I'm visiting the booths, um, this is the stuff that I picked up. So the first thing I'll show you is the box from Sally. It is hair dye. Um, their whole thing this year was about Sally Beauty Color. And they basically gave you an entire kit to dye your hair, which is pretty awesome. They have like this little program that showed you what different colors will look like on your hair and then they had experts in their booth um to talk about the color that you got and if that's what you really want and they switch things out accordingly so i have um everything i need from home kit developer and color i do not believe in dyeing my hair at home so i i only go to professionals um but i did get this because i have some wigs that i don't mind dyeing by myself um so that's pretty exciting and a lot of people were jazzed about it like really happy so sally you did you did good so i'm just gonna go in this bag and like see what i got i got a sample don't even know what that is, so that's fine. Um, Revline was giving out a lipstick along with some other things. So I got this lipstick. I also got these hairpins, which I think are really cute and they, they go well in my short hair. And we also got matched for a foundation, uh, their new Candid line. And you got to take home a full-size foundation, which is cool. But I did hear some people talk about for the price that we paid, like if you were general admission and you paid $80 for two days, or if you were a hauler or a bug and you paid, you know, minimum $200 to get in, is receiving full products of drugstore makeup worth it? That's a question that you'll have to ask and you'll have to think about if you decide to go to these types of conventions. I enjoyed myself there and I, I like that I have this, but is it worth it? I don't. I don't know. You let me know. 
I CVS was present and it was my first bag because I actually wound up getting two of these. Um, I got a lip tint. What is this? A liquid lipstick and a highlighter. And you know, CVS carries multiple brands. So these are various different like K-beauty brands. That's like something that they're pushing right now. I like that. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. Cake? I don't really know, but I thought it was really cool. What they were offering was um, bust measurements, and they were telling you how you should really be getting measured every six months. Nobody really does that, but they measured us, and they gave us a coupon for a free bra, whether online or in-store if you're based in New York, which I think is awesome. So I'm going to go redeem my free bra and try on the size that they think I am, um, which was different from what I currently wear. So that was really helpful and informative. They also gave us like underwear and you have the option to um, monogram them. So I got my initials and I really enjoyed that booth. I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, and now they're gonna be like on my brain when it comes to bra shopping. Raw Sugar gave us these little um, body wash. And it's like an all-natural brand. It smells really great, so I'm excited to learn about them. They're vegan, cruelty-free, all of that. Um, sample. Um, from Rimmel London, I got some gold eyeliner and a red lip art graphic pencil thingamajig. That was cool. Uh, here is my second CVS bag that I got with a friend and there are different items. This is a lip plumper by um, e.l.f. Ultimate Lip Liner by LA Girl and a blush. I thought this was a sample but it is like a full size and I think this blush is really pretty so I'm excited to try it out. So you can see they still give away three things but depending on the time of day you went determines what you got. So there's that. Kiss gave out some Joa gel eyeliner. Lots of bags were given. Uh, this is by Dashing Diva and their like nail decor. So I don't know, I don't know how this works, but I will look into it because I love doing my nails. Um, I got this lip from L'Oreal. They have like a cute photo booth there as well. Uh, here is the foundation from Revlon. I was matched and I was matched very well so that was helpful. Someone was walking around and she was just giving out these little cannabis Eco style gel. I don't know how like cannabis inside of products works. Like how? What does that do to my hair? What's the point of adding cannabis to it? I don't really know, but I'll try it. It's fine by me. Um, the Balm is a wonderful brand. I really like their products, and they had a little wheel to spin, and everyone was a winner, and I won. I think like the best thing they had to offer honestly is the smoke balm with foil um, eyeshadow palette really good to travel with very simple smoky eye I'm happy with this and they also had like 50% off everything um, I don't know, pamphlet Too Faced wasn't giving anything away to my knowledge but they were selling things so that's what this is certain products were discounted by like half off I think so that's great if you knew you wanted something from Too Faced and you're not gonna get it on sale anywhere else anytime soon you can go buy it there um, some more samples it's like hair gels the same thing that we got in our hauler bag Rimmel London we got a blush this is really cute Maybelline, their whole setup was very cute as well. They, they usually always come through. I got a black brown pomade from their tattoo studio collection. 
And then on another day, they had Aaliyah J there, which was really cute. From Kiss, I got this bag with some eyelashes again and um, some nails from Impress. They do nails and eyelash applications there, so if you want to get that put on, you can. Um, a place called Verve, they provided us with samples in our hollow bag. Uh, they gave us some more samples and this cute little hair tie. I don't need a hair tie anymore, but if I had long hair, I'd like that. So we got some collagen. This is like healthy living going on with that. A coupon for Rimmel London. This was the Metro card that Maybelline had in order to get into their station. You have to like swipe it and go through the turnstile, which is cute. The samples in our hollow bag were bigger than these samples, but still sample size. And then Jouer gave out like sample lipstick sizes. And they also had a contest to win their luggage if you like took a picture at their booth, hashtag it, all that stuff. Um, so that was from day one. So on day two, on Sunday, um, I walked around a little bit more. I had a lot of leisure time because because I have experience with BeautyCon, I know the game plan, I know how this works, and I just like head to all the booths that I really want right away and just then leisurely take my time to learn more about brands as I go. Um, so on Sunday, I was really just relaxed and just taking my time. So I went into the wellness section um, a little bit more. And one of the things I did was go to Target. They had like this cute station based off of your zodiac sign and it told you about your zodiac and then it had products there that you could just see that like matched along with your zodiac sign. It wound up helping me because one of the things at my station was a lip gloss by the lip bar who also happened to be in attendance at the event. And I went to their station and I actually bought the lip gloss. So this is the one thing, the one thing that I bought out of BeautyCon aside from food that's a whole nother conversation but brand wise I bought this lip gloss it's called goddess which perfectly matches with like how I see myself um, it is the most beautiful most stunning lip gloss that I have ever seen and I'm really excited to get put onto this brand so that helped um, I got some more lashes from kiss these are beautiful like I would go back as many times as I was allowed. Um, from Patchology, this is a mask and these are eye patches. I never heard of this brand but the eye patches look really cute so I'm happy to try it. A lot of places were giving out little tattoos. Lily's Chocolate was there and if you follow Keto, you know Lily's Chocolate is Keto approved so I was really happy to see them. Um, a lot of picture activations in order to get like products. Some gel liner. Pixie always gives out these little crowns. Um, so that's cute. And eyeliner from Pixie as well. This is what the Lily's chocolate came in. I already ate it, of course. And they also had a recycle program there that anything, any of these papers that you didn't want, you go and you recycle and you would get a gift. So I recycled some paper and I got this cute tote and inside, kind of opened a little bit, it smells so good. Uh, Love Beauty and Planet Coconut Milk and White Jasmine, this is shampoo. I can, I, I'm a hair blogger, I can use shampoo so I'm not too upset about it. Um, from London Town I was able to win this really cute nail lacquer, if you can recall in my hauler bag. They only gave us like a sample of a cuticle oil or a cuticle cream, but at their booth I was able to win this um, this nail lacquer. So it's just like confusing about like why wouldn't you put this in a beauty bag? Um, it just didn't make much sense to me, but really happy that I went to their booth and that I, I got this. Um, Pixie also gave out a little lip balm. They gave out quite a bit of stuff. Um, compared to everybody else. Uh, this was the photo I took at Target. And then I got a Pop Beauty Eyeliner in Fuchsia Pink. 
So that was everything that I got at Beautycon for both days, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm happy. The fiasco <laughs> that people experience with Cardi B. She was the headliner for Sunday and it was confusion there was a lot of people reporting that she was going to be performing and that was a lie a lot of outside sources like um, the magazine the source and some other people um, were reporting that she was going to perform so people had that expectation and that was wrong she was here for a panel to talk about getting to the money because she's oh she's the money girl right so that's what she was supposed to be there for saturday i saw that she was in vegas and i was like that's on the other side of the country and you know jets private jets whatever it's still a lot to have her do that commitment and then make it all the way to new york city manhattan to be at our event for 2 p.m that's when she was scheduled to go on so if you think about this um the event on sunday starts at 10 for hauler and like vip people and then opens at 12 to general admission and cardi's coming on at 2. So if you, like I said, it's limited seating, and if you want to see her, you are going to get there early so you can get a seat. The hall closes at 6. So if you didn't get somewhere on Saturday and your thought was to go see Cardi and then visit the rest of the booths on Sunday, you got bamboozled because she was late. She was three to four hours late, actually. So people are sitting in their seats if you got a seat, uh, standing in the aisles, which is dangerous, and... It was a lot. It was a lot going on. Security kept coming on like please be respectful of one another and please listen to us as we are trying to usher you out of the aisles because it's a safety hazard. I I almost got locked out guys. It was very crazy. When I realized that she was late and they announced that she was going to be two hours late I was like damn let me go get some food. So I left my stuff in my seat with my friend and I went to go get us some food. On my way back, I see, I, I actually left throughout one of these other halls to the side. Um, and on my way back, I see the doors directly across from the food court open. And people are like rushing in and I'm like, what's going on? But because I knew I had to get back, I, I decided to go there instead of going around like I came. So I, I attempted to go in and security is standing at the door and they're like, we are at capacity, we can't let anybody in. So I was gonna run around because I was like, oh, I'll just go around to the other entrance. But then I wound up seeing somebody opening the door on the far end where security wasn't, but still in the center, but where security wasn't. So I just rushed through there and I ran in. And it turns out that the way that I had gone out was closed off. They had closed the halls and then they were closing people from entering from the food court. So if I was like a hair later, I would have been locked out, my stuff would have been in there, I would have had food on the outside, my friend would have been there without food for the hours that she waited and it really would have been, like, it really would have been a disaster on my end because I paid to be a hauler, I paid to, you know, I paid to be here to see her and that was kind of a disaster. But I made it and I pushed my way through the crowd back to my seat and we ate and we sat and we sat and we sat and we sat. Um, from what I could hear, apparently somebody got into a fight. I didn't really see anything, but that's, I guess, why security kept coming back on saying, be respectful of one another, please, please, please. Um, I'm looking on BeautyCon's Instagram and their latest post, and some girl's like, this 30 year old tried to fight me. And it's not funny, but it's a little funny because you can tell that she was young because who, how do you know her age? But I don't know, people were really restless and apparently people couldn't go to the bathroom because remember they closed off the both sides of the halls and they said if you leave you can't come back in because we're at capacity which is weird because if you have a seat it's like that's your seat but they didn't care um they kept saying the story around where she was kept changing so at first it was like it's a two-hour flight she's on her way her flight was delayed but she's on her way then it was like not even two hours later they were like She's in the vicinity, she's in the city, and you know her, her makeup stylist has to get to her, and all of these things, but it just kept changing, and apparently someone said on Instagram, I don't know if it's true, but someone said that they saw her walk past them with a whole bunch of security at 2 p.m. 
what was she doing from two to five when she went on? I don't really know. I know she had to do promotional things at BeautyCon, so maybe they just kept her from maybe she was actually late but they also kept her to do the promotional things she had to do and then brought her onto the stage but anyway she came on her sister came on everyone was really happy they loved her she looked beautiful the questions that they were asking her were a little bit off in my opinion but whatever it doesn't matter um we were able to see her by the time it ended it was after six the hall we had the hall until six so all the beauty brands were closing so if you've been there from 12 because you wanted to get ahead and get a seat you've been there from 12 to 6 you weren't able to go see the brands that you may have missed on Saturday or if that was the only day you attended you were really really screwed and that's where like that's where it really gets messed up and apparently um, BDCon the founder and Cardi um, are making like doing a makeup somehow like they're giving a gift they told you to email the email i emailed them i haven't heard back yet um so i don't really know what they're gonna do for the makeup but sunday was a struggle day um is beautycon canceled in my opinion no they're gonna learn they're gonna move on and things are going to get better but you can't please everyone and there's there's always things like out of your hands when you're hosting an event period and then especially an event of this size I've never been to the one in LA so if you have let me know if it's anything as chaotic as the one in New York City um, let me know down below if you think the bag is worth it let me know if you're gonna go next year thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye